In this video, we are going to talk about whether a food technology course or a food science course is good for you or not, using the example of badminton. Welcome back to the channel. This is Ari Birshad and you are watching Food Tech Simplified where I make simple and easy to understand lectures, videos and tutorials for the students of food science and technology. So if you want to level up your profile and simplify your studies, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the bell icon as well so that you don't miss the new videos when they come out. I have been getting a lot of DMs on my Instagram and a number of comments on my channel asking whether a food technology course is good for them or not. See, I cannot decide for you whether a course is good or bad. And how do you actually define whether a course is good or a course is bad? And see, I think that a course in itself is neither good nor bad. But I am assuming that the students who are asking this question, uh, whether food technology course is good for them or not, I am assuming what do they mean by this question is uh, whether we'll be able to get a job after we complete this course in food technology or food science or whatever. Or are the chances of getting a job higher when compared to other branches? More or less, this question is connected with getting a job. If we pursue food technology, will we get a job? What is the guarantee of getting a job? See, I think that a food technology course is very much similar to Batman's suit. For Batman, the suit is an important factor. The suit gives him a personality, but the suit is not as important as his will to act, the will to serve justice, the will to protect the people of his city. The suit is just a medium to help him save the city. It gives him a means to fight injustice and while doing so, it protects his identity. The suit is important. But his training is important as well. The training is nothing. The will is everything. The will to act. His friends are important as well. Just know that there are those of us who care about what you do with your future. Haven't given up on me yet. Never. His detective skills are important as well. His will, his drive, and his reason to be Batman is probably the most important component which helps him succeed in his mission. In the same way, a food technology course or any course for that matter is important. It has its own place. But it is not as important as the reason to pursue it. It is not as important as your attitude towards it. Let's say that Bruce Wayne had everything. He had all the resources. Uh, and by the way, uh, Bruce Wayne is Batman. Sorry to spoil the movie for you if you had not watched it already. <laughs> so uh, let's say that Bruce Wayne had all the resources, he had everything, but he didn't have a strong reason to be Batman, to serve, uh, to fight injustice or to protect the people of his city. Then do you think he would have succeeded in his missions? He would not have succeeded at all if he didn't have a strong will or a strong reason to pursue uh, his missions or a strong reason to be Batman he wouldn't have succeeded at all. Now you're going to say, I don't care, Batman is a superhero. He has all the resources, he has all the money, he has all the technology, and he's a fictional character, but I am real, and I don't have all those skills and all that money and all that technology that Batman has in a fictional world. So how do you compare, Arif? So stay with me for here for a minute. See, Batman has some special kind of respect among the fans of uh, DC Universe, if you want to call it that. And why is that? Uh, even though in the DC Universe or in the comics or in the movies, Superman is a literal god, still Batman has kind of more loyal following or uh, Batman has even more following if we compare it uh, with Superman. He has a special kind of respect. And why I'm saying that? Because, see, Batman is actually not a superhero. He doesn't have supernatural powers. He is mortal. He is going to die. He is as human as you and me. So because he doesn't have his powers, he rely on something else. He rely on his detective skills. He rely on his technology. 
he rely on his training and his reason and his will to act my point is that batman is not special just because of the suit a suit is just a medium in the same way a food technology course is just a medium to build a strong career it is important it is it has its own place but the reason behind pursuing this course should be strong enough the reason may not make sense to your parents or it may not make sense to your relatives or your friends but most importantly the reason should make sense to you now if you come to me uh, in the comments or in the dms and if you ask me whether a food technology course is good or not i am going to give you the same answer i am not going to i am not going to give you a different answer i will tell you that i can only tell about myself i can only i only know my reason to pursue the course i cannot decide for you that what is your reason to pursue the course and i don't have to decide and i don't have to know uh, your reason i don't have to understand your reason because your reason should make sense to you first of all that is the most important thing now a lot of viewers who are watching this video right now must be thinking that why am i am i just rambling about the reason and the will to act and all that stuff this this is just motivational and inspirational stuff and just tell us whether there are jobs or not just tell us whether there is scope in this branch or not you want the truth are you sure okay here you go see this domain is getting saturated year by year the number of jobs created per year are not proportionate with uh, the number of graduates who are coming every year the obviously the number of graduates are higher when compared to the jobs there are many candidates who are struggling to get a job although the branch has scope but they have to struggle there is struggle the struggle is real i'm not going to lie i'm not going to give you any false hopes through this channel obviously about 4 or 5 years earlier the scope was the scope was high and the number of jobs were higher and the graduates were not proportionate there were fewer graduates although the, the uh, there is still scope and there are jobs but the, the number of graduates per year are increasing every year they are always increasing and the number of colleges i think there are more than 200 colleges in india i don't uh, have a proper list but i am pretty sure that there are more than 200 colleges and a number of graduates are coming out every year the competition is increasing every year and i expect that in the coming years in the future the competition is going to increase and i'm not trying to scare you but i am just trying to give you a realistic picture of the current scenario uh, and why is that because th this is why the reason your reason to pursue this branch in the first place should be strong enough this is why you need to have a strong will to pursue this course or any course for that matter because when you complete your graduation or your post graduation and let's say your college didn't provide placements there were no college placements and now you are looking for a job and you are not able to find a job instead of your hard uh, hard work or consistent efforts it could be possible that you are not able to land a job so what will help you in that exhausting phase only your reason and your strong will your friends and family are going to help you to get through that exhausting phase and sooner or later in in the back of your mind if your reason is strong enough sooner or later you will know that i will definitely get a job your attitude will be strong i will definitely get a job that that kind of attitude will only be developed if you have a strong reason if you don't just rely on the food technology degree or the course rather you rely on other factors as well if you just rely on a food technology course if you just think that okay i have done the food technology course now i am just going to get a job that doesn't work there are other factors as well when you are looking for a job and the person whose reason is not strong enough or in the worst case scenario the reason is non existent then that person is going to struggle the most he or she is going to have the most stress or most anxiety because they are going to blame the course they are going to blame that why did i Uh, choose this course in the first place probably they are going to blame this channel as well <laughs> so batman even though he failed many times because of his suit it could be possible that he failed in his fights because of his suits he never blamed his suits he always relied on his will his reason his training and his detective skills his friends and family as well 
in many cases. So I hope that this comparison of Batman's uh, suit with a food technology course made some sense to you. And uh, although I have put this kind of video earlier on the channel as well, but I wanted to reiterate this because I've been getting a lot of DMs and a lot of comments. And this reason kind of thing, this finding out the reason, obviously may not make sense to uh, some young people or some young candidates who are applying for a course, maybe this year or maybe next year. But when when I have completed my graduation and my post-graduation, uh, now I realize that I am so glad that my reason to pursue the course or maybe the reason to pursue this channel was strong enough because, see, my the personal reason, the reason, uh, although I have not shared my reason why I, I have started a channel, maybe I will do that in the future, but that reason, that has a very strong story behind it. That has, that has a very personal story behind it, if I think about it now. So the reason to pursue, if you actually want to succeed, it's not about the course. It, see, it's not about my channel. The channel is getting recognition and this is helping a lot of students because I think this is not just about my teaching style. I think this is not just about uh, the kind of videos I use or the kind of examples I use. Many people or many students will feel that this is just about my teaching style or just about my communication uh, style or something like that. But this is not the best style. There are many teachers who can simplify concepts in a much better way, who can uh, maybe start a YouTube channel in a much better way. Still, this is getting some recognition. Why? Because the reason, I think, this is what I believe, the reason to pursue this channel was strong enough and is still strong enough and that is why I am still going on. And I hopefully I will be going on with this channel for longer periods of time. So yeah, that's, that's what I wanted to share with you today. Hope this video made some sense to you. If yes, then make sure you hit the subscribe button. Uh, make sure you hit the like button as well. If you didn't like this video, that is completely fine. You can hit the dislike button twice, just to be sure. And I will see you next time, class. Dismissed.